Give me reasons to doubt, try to keep me down But I'll put the flame out, you can't get to me I've been trying to record this video for so long now, but my camera keeps fogging up because it's been like 100 degrees here in Maryland all week, but I think we're good now. Welcome to today's video, guys. Thank you so much for all the continued support, and I say this in every video because I truly do mean it, and the way this channel is growing, I have all of you guys to thank for that, and it's awesome to see where everyone is watching from in all the different countries, so shout out to you guys. You guys are awesome, so thank you so much. And if you're watching this, I probably just got back from New York City. Hopefully it was an awesome trip, productive, and enjoyed it. I have been there many times, went to school just outside of New York City. But all that footage will be in the next video, so stay tuned for that. As you can tell from the title of this video, this video is about my tattoo. I got right there. And I did mention it in the Q&A a little bit, and I'm going to repeat myself a little bit, but go into more detail because there is a lot of meaning. It wasn't just some random tattoo that I got just because I wanted a tattoo. For those of you that don't know, my tattoo says, and now I'll do what's best for me. Might seem kind of selfish and I totally understand that, but the meaning behind it is so much more. I said this in the Q&A video, but I now will do what's best for me. And think about you watching this right now. What makes up you? Who are you? What things have happened in your past that make you who, are, who you are today? And that basically can go right there. Everything that's made you who you are today can go right there. So the story behind this tattoo is I got it this year in March and I always told myself I would love to get a tattoo, but I would only get it if I truly knew what I wanted and where. Like, I would have to love it in order to get it, otherwise I would not get a tattoo. Plain and simple as that. So March, my best friends and I, were our spring break aligned perfectly. We all went to three different schools, and they were my best friends from college. We started going off to the same school together, same soccer team. But if you guys have been following my journey, you know that my soccer career in college and college life wasn't the typical life of a college student. You know, I really didn't like it. We were all looking to transfer, especially our sophomore year. Winter break of sophomore year came around and we were we said to each other, 100% we are moving. We are transferring, we're emptying out of dorms, which is what we did. We took everything home for winter break and we all started looking to transfer because we were just that unhappy. We were best friends, we were like, we need to do this for each other. We need to go to somewhere else. So we did that. Went home, started looking at other schools, talking to everyone, all that stuff. Well, what turned out to happen was the two of them were able to transfer. They had enough times, so things worked out, all that kind of stuff, and I didn't. So imagine me, best friends, transferring to do two different schools, one in New York, one down in South Carolina, and then me having to come back to school without my two best friends to a place that I wasn't really happy to be in. So. In terms, you could say they did what was best for them at that time. And I was so happy for them, and we were so grateful for everything that's happened. For me, staying at school, for them transferring, everything worked out. So then this year, March, like I said, our spring breaks aligned perfectly, which was awesome. So like, you know what? Me and my other friend, we go to school in New Jersey and, and New York. No one wants to go to spring break there. So packed our bags, got on the plane, went down to South Carolina and both of my friends have tattoos. So I'm like, well, I'm the only one who doesn't, but that didn't matter. It didn't matter if I was the only one who didn't have a tattoo or not. I always told myself I'd only get it if the right moment came and I truly knew what I wanted to get. And that's what happened. I knew they both had tattoos and I knew my best friend who lived in South Carolina knew someone very good, get a good deal, who would do a good job. So I'm like, all right, you know, that saying where the moon, stars, whatever it is, are all, all lining up. I'm like, okay, this this could happen. So I brought it up to them, and they're like, you should totally do that. And I don't regret it one bit at all. And the placement of it, at first, what I was thinking to get the tattoo was, and now we'll do what's best for me. So you kind of read it like that. It goes across like a sentence. But then, you know, talking to my parents, talking to my friends, like, just in case for jobs, you don't really want it out like that. I totally understood that, but I wanted it to be somewhere where I could look down, see it, read it, and it's that little reminder. So that's why I decided to get it here. So at any time I go through something and it's tough, or I'm not sure, or I need to take a risk, but I want to stay in my comfort zone, I just look down and say, Gina, and now I'll do what's best for me. And now I'll do 
what's best for me and I'm so thankful I did that and do I regret getting the tattoo? Not at all. Not at all. I'm very happy that I did that and when I tell people what it says they're like okay. You know they're not really sure what to think about it and that's fine because it's not their tattoo. It's my tattoo. Another reason that I I like what it says is because my whole life with soccer careers anything really it's always been Gina you're good but you're not great or we like you Gina but this person's better or that's good and all but there's always that other that but that, that happened with me in my soccer career 101 times and it came to the point where it's like you know what I don't need that validation from someone else I don't need a label. I'm going to be me and I'm going to do what I want to do. And I'm thankful for that. I really truly am. So now when you think of and now I'll do what's best for me, think of that me. Who are you? I've said this before. I am my mom and my dad. I am my mom's family. I am my dad's family. So that me, if I wanted to get really creative, you could make a whole web from the me of everything that makes up those two letters. Everything that makes up those two letters, I put my mom, my dad, my sister, college, high school, soccer, relationships, because that's this, that's that. And I wouldn't be here or doing what I am if it wasn't for that. And by doing what's best for me, that means I'm doing what's best for everyone in this branch, in that web. And, you know, they say, don't judge a book by its cover, so when someone sees my tattoo, or you see anyone's tattoo in general, don't judge it right away. You don't know what's behind it. Get out of your comfort zone and go up to that person and ask them. You'll find out a whole lot about them that you never thought you would ever know. Step out of your comfort zone and find out new, something new about someone else. Getting bit out here. Things I do for you guys. Just kidding. I love making these videos. So that's what I'm going to say, leave you guys with, is don't be afraid. And if you are afraid of, there is negativity in your life, turn that around. Think about a bully or someone who thinks they're better than you. A bully enjoys being a bully because they like to see their reaction from the person they're bullying. So every time you react to their action, they're getting something out of that. Seeing you struggle makes them feel better. So I know this is easier said than done, but ignore them. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a tractor going by. Gotta wait for that so you can hear me. Hopefully you can hear me now. But the bully gets something out of your reactions. Just like anything negative in your life. Turn that negativity into something positive for you. And that bully will go away or those thoughts of maybe I'm not good enough will go away because you turn that into something else. There's so many people saying, oh, Gina, it's not gonna work, you're never gonna make it, you're not good enough, blah, 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 but I'm happy where I am and I'm just getting started and that's the best part of it. Moving here soon and I'm just getting started. Just getting started because now I can really go 100% into everything, do what's best for me but that me is so much more. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I've said before, when I do these videos, it really does give me goosebumps. I'm out here, should be sweating, but I've got goosebumps just because if you told me in five years, five years ago, that I'd be here talking in front of a camera to hundreds of thousands of people, I'd say you're kidding. There's no way, you couldn't pay me enough to believe that because I was so shy before but I'm thankful that I've taken this opportunity. And like I've said before, we are just getting started. So continue following, continue commenting down. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.